Welcome to the American Lean Podcast. It's Monday, so that means we want to talk about leadership topics and whether you're leading your employees on site or in today's world, if you're leading people remotely, I want to talk about how to coach employees to their possibilities. We'll get into the topic right after the intro. Welcome to the American Lean Podcast, where we cover five topics in five days in about five minutes. The only place in the world where you can get daily lean coaching. Your host is Tom Reed, and he shares his 30 years of experience and covers leadership, culture, entrepreneurship, lean methodologies, industry 4.0, and interview special guests on their lean journey. We're glad you're here. So let's go. Welcome in to the American Lean Podcast. It's episode 38. And like I talked about in the intro, I want to provide three tips for coaching employees to their possibilities. As leaders, it is important to remember that we are there to coach employees to their potential. This often gets overlooked because we get busy running the business, attending meeting after meeting, by the way, many of which are non-value added. And then with the little energy we have left, we get around to doing our hardest work, coaching and directing employees. What requires even more energy is coaching an employee or a group that isn't performing to expectations, which is often our fault as their leader. Usually we think about having two options in this scenario. Number one, we can let them go. What kind of message is that going to send to the workforce? And what is that going to do for our culture? And number two, spend the time and energy to coach employees to their possibilities. So there are a few steps to keep in mind when coaching employees to their possibilities. It's important for the person that you're coaching to master the role they are in before moving to the next level. People often think to themselves, if I can only get to X level, then everything will be great. They aren't patient enough to learn the building blocks and skills that will take them to the next level. Most organizations have multiple levels and people receive additional responsibility after they've shown that they can succeed at their current level. I can remember beginning in the workforce at a paper mill. Just out of college with an engineering degree, I thought it'd be great if I could be an area coordinator the person running a department of the paper mill. The reality is, I didn't know what I didn't know. There are tons of skills I didn't have as far as leading people were concerned. Luckily, though, some leaders saw potential in me and started me as a floor supervisor so I could gain those skills. I'm not going to lie. It was hard being a 23-year-old supervisor in a union environment in an industry that I didn't know much about. But I did learn quickly. I had to succeed at that role before proceeding to the next level. Which brings us to step number two when coaching employees to their possibilities. Provide clarity on the activities for success. Ensure that your employees understand the correct activities for success. Is there standard work to follow? Is there leader standard work? Do they know how to use support systems that support their job? Do they know who to go to when they have questions? These are items that need to be in place for your employees to be successful. Sit down with them day one and ask what they want out of the job, besides obvious things like a paycheck. Maybe they are saving to buy a house. They might want to learn new skills. Understand what is important to them so you can support them. If they lose sight of the bigger picture as time moves forward. Step number three when coaching employees to their possibilities is to have daily, then weekly, then monthly accountability. In your conversations, let them know that you believe they will be successful and begin the process with a twice daily check-in. At the beginning of the day, Let them share what they plan on doing that day. Then have them share what they accomplished at the end of the day. If after two weeks they've been successful, then let them check in on Monday and Friday for the remaining two weeks. If they've been successful during that time frame, chances are they are on their way to working toward their possibilities and you can keep in touch with them on a monthly check-in. Now, I personally have used this technique to coach employees. It does take a lot of effort, but if you want to be a successful leader, it is a solid approach. Try it and let me know how it goes. Hope you enjoyed our time together today. Now remember, consuming information is great, but I want you to take this information to make yourself and your company a little bit better today. This podcast is for you, so if there are topics that you would like me to cover, or if you'd like to share your company's lean journey, please contact me at tom at americanlean.com. Full show notes can be found at americanlean.com slash blog, how to coach employees to their possibilities. Until tomorrow, have a great one. Thank you for joining us today. As always, we are honored to serve you and we hope that you and your company are getting a little bit better every day. Please subscribe, rate and review this podcast and share it with others in the lean and business community. If you'd like to turbocharge your lean efforts, please visit us at AmericanLean.com.